Hey guys, I'm Rich from Neo Wind. Uh, today we're unboxing the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Yoga. Uh, if you've been following along, last week I unboxed the X1 tablet, which is a really great machine. So they came out with three devices at CES. There's the X1 Carbon, which is the flagship laptop, and we already have a review for that up on Neo Wind. Um, there's the Yoga, which is like the 360 degree convertible, and then there's the tablet, which is like a Surface Pro style um, tablet with a detachable keyboard. Okay, now the tablet was is it is a great machine. I'm really enjoying it. The only problem is it feels a little underpowered because as the Core i5 Y series, which is the rebranded Core M5, this guy's gonna have a U series. It comes in i5 or i7, um, and it comes with a 1080p LCD display or a 1440p OLED. Uh, they didn't tell me which one they sent me. If you watch the tablet unboxing, you can see that. Um, they, they sent me uh, specs for this review unit, and this one, the specs for this review unit, unit actually has both on there. Um, there's a choice between a 256 or 512 gigabyte SSD. Uh, 256 is Toshiba, 512 is Samsung if it matters. But let's just get this open because I'm starting to get in, into parts of the specs that I'm sure most people don't really care about. Um, so you see the box isn't very fancy. Um... There's a little plastic thing right at the top. Let's see. And here's the device itself. All right, you can see it is super thin. Yeah, uh, it feels really nice, light. Okay, let's see, it says ThinkPad over here. Um, I'm going to get it open in a bit. We're just going to see what else is in here. All right, we have a smaller... There's something... No, it looks like just more plastic. Um... Okay, so setup guide. If you if you watch my unboxings, you know that I never even open them, and sometimes it leads to uh, some wackiness. We have a power cable and the power brick, which charges through USB Type C. Now there should be pen support. I didn't see a pen in the box. I'm going to assume for now that I can use the same pen that came with the X1 tablet. All right, so improvements that they made to the Yoga. Uh, two Thunderbolt 3 ports, which you can see if I get the lighting angle right. Um, there are also two USB Type-A ports, right, which is useful. So one thing that I, I really thought was cool is that you can see is that when you bend back the, the screen to put it in tablet mode, the keys retract. Okay, so when you're going to hold it like this, you're not getting keys in the way. Now, it's a minor thing, but I've noticed with other convertibles that um, it's it's a little, it's a small annoyance, we'll just call it. All right, we have a fingerprint reader over here. All right. Trackpad, the keyboard is similar to the one that, that uh, ships with the tablet. All right, let's power this up. Hopefully they gave me some power. Did they? Is it going to come on? I see a light that came out. There it is. All right, we're powering up. So this is the Core i5 V Pro model. And we can see resolution, 1080p. All right, so they sent me the 1080p one, which is kind of a bummer. But because um, I, I really love OLED displays. And um, I think that 1440p is kind of the right resolution for a laptop. This is a 14-inch laptop. Um, I have 4K laptops, like the Spectre X360, and I love it, but the battery life is terrible. It's only about five hours. Um, 1080p seems to be not quite enough for me, all right? So, to me, 1440p feels like the sweet spot, and, um, I love OLED displays, even though they do have some shortcomings, but, um... You know, so I was kind of hoping that, that I would get that. But, um, yeah, this is going to be pretty cool. You see, it's... it's. I can really see the difference between a regular 13.3-inch laptop and the 14-inch. Uh, it feels a lot bigger. It feels like there's a lot more space. But the thing also feels really light. Okay, so you can see we do on the keys, right? That's a, that's how much they're, they're, they're regular keys, obviously. But when we bend it back, I, I, I love this feature. I, I love that the keys retract when we 
when we put it into tablet mode. All right, and then we're gonna we can say we want to put it into tablet mode. It comes with a, a sign into a Lenovo account. I always just do a factory reset and then sign into my own account. And obviously, you have different form factors with a 360 device. You can bend it back like this and decide that you want to watch a movie like that or something. Um, you put it in a tent mode like so. And th those are just the different kinds of form factors that you can you can get with a 360 degree type of device. By the way, I was actually incorrect. I was looking at one side where um, there, there are the two USB Type-C ports and the two USB 3.0 Type-A ports. And over here, we can kind of see that uh, along with an HDMI port, there's also another USB um, 3.0 Type-A port. Okay, we have a headphone jack over here. And then uh, over here is the power button. All right. And... Um, there's really not much else to say right now. Uh, Lenovo does say that there's rapid charging. 60 minutes should get you to 80%. Um, Anti-fry pr protection. There's the ThinkPad Pen Pro, which obviously didn't come in the box. It says, uh, it says the onboard... ThinkPad Pen Pro uses active capacitive technology, which removes the need for a digitizing layer to be built into the display panel. So I'm going to kind of see what's up with that. Most devices either use um, Ntrig or Wacom, and I have plenty of those pens lying around, so um, I'll, I'll look further into that. Yeah, and I just picked up the device to see if there, there was maybe a pen built into it, because it said on board. I'm not seeing anything. Um... When I, when I publish my article with this video, maybe I'll have some kind of update for you. But it, if I don't find a pen, I'm going to see if some of my existing pens work, uh, such as the one that came with the X1 tablet, you know. Um, so that's about it for now. Obviously, I'll have a review uh, soon enough. I got a lot of reviews coming, so um, so uh, make sure to stay tuned. I mean, I got the Huawei Watch 2, the LG Watch Sport, HP Elite Book. ThinkPad X1 tablet, the new iPad Pro, so there's a lot of cool stuff coming, so make sure to check back. I'm Rich from Neowin. Have a great night.